Hello and welcome to this video. Today you're gonna learn more about CCTV system. Today I'm gonna talk about lighting for CCTV. So keep watching. Hello, this is Claudemir again with another video and today you're gonna learn more about fundamentals of lighting for CCTV. This content is part of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide as you can see here in the screen. There is a lot of information in this guide and you can find it here in the link in the description. Okay, so just click the link. You can see more information about how you can have this guide. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about new videos, all right? So let's start here with lighting for CCTV. And when you have visible light as human, you can see it. Uh, but the camera can see more than you can because the camera is a device and the camera can see infrared light. For example, uh, when your eyes can't see something, the camera still can. Usually you have wavelengths like 809 nanometers that's uh, beyond the infrared spectrum and the camera can see here in the infrared spectrum because the camera can uh, work with 300 nanometers, 400, 500, up to 800 nan nanometers. So you have ultraviolet light, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and infrared as your eyes can see, but you cannot see under ultraviolet, meaning un under 300 nanometers or beyond 800 nanometers. So you, your camera can work with that, right? So that's the idea. When you install your camera, you can see in the dark because you can have LED lights that can illuminate the place and can see what your naked eyes can't. And also you can think about the amount of light you have in the environment. Let's say for example, in a bright day, you have 100,000 lux of information. It's uh, the lighting level. In a cloudy day, you have less than that, like 10,000 lux. At sunset, 10 lux. And you keep going down and down. As long as you have less light in the environment, you need a better camera. Let's say, for example, you are like a moon, moonless night, right? You don't have a moon. So you need to work with camera that has a minimum lux of 0 0.0001 lux. In that case, you need to go to the camera catalog and look for a better camera with a bigger sensor. If you have like one and a half inch, the sensor will be better than this one. That's one third of inch, right? And also you can look at minimum illumination of the camera. Here, for example, you have 01 lux with color infrared off, 0 0.001 lux uh, with black and white image, IR also off and for this camera when you have the IR on the IR on infrared on you can see in the dark even with zero lux that's the idea you have to look at the catalog of the camera to see uh, how good the camera is with light but in some situation you cannot use the infrared let's say you have a large space outside for example it's not enough to have infrared light so you need to take, to take care uh, which minimum illumination you have in your camera that's the idea okay so guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel to learn more about that don't forget to, to also hit the bell notification so you can receive information when i have new videos new videos are coming with information about this guide more more videos you can watch and also remember you can click here in the description and download this guide all right so that's all for today and i see you in the next video